Okay, the Vixing Photo Lens System for smartphones. I have tried two of these systems before by different brands. They were okay, nothing too special. But I'm going to try this one out uh, for a test. See what this one's capable of and see if it's any good. And um, will improve your smartphone photography. Let's take a look at this. So inside the box here, we have a nice uh, hard pouch, like a fox leather kind of feel over it. The zip pouch, it also has a little tassel there. Uh, we'll see what that is for in a minute. Try and open this one-handedly. All right, so opening up the carry case then. We have two lenses. I thought there was three lenses. There's a picture of three lenses on the case. Huh, it says fisheye. 12 times macro and 24 times super macro. There's only two lenses in the actual case. Okay, that's interesting. Perhaps you put one against the other. So there is one of them. Does it say which one this is? Nope, it doesn't say. But it should say on the side. It's got the Vixing brand in. Feels like metal. Feels actually good quality. I thought these would be plastic. Okay, this is a 12 times macro. So uh, pop the lid off that. Okay, so we have a, a light see-through plastic rim around this, this lens. You see it uh, magnifying there. So that, I guess, is to let light in because you with this, you wanna, you're going to want to get really close up to your subject. So at least if you get in touching distance, light will still be able to get in through this diffuser. Here. That's pretty cool. Put that aside and let's take a look. The other one. Yeah, these are definitely metal. You can feel by the, the coldness of them. Let's pop this off. All right, that looks pretty good. Looks kind of, looks pretty professional actually. <laughs> this is a fisheye lens. So, whoops, I've dropped it on the floor. And by the way, if you can see the blue on my hand, it's because I had an ink explosion earlier with pen. So ignore that. I can't get it off, so I have to come off throughout the day. So this is the fisheye lens. You can feel it's good weight on it. It's definitely metal, these uh, these two lenses. So that is uh, a nice, nice surprise. So in here we have two clips. Not sure why there's two, but uh, it's always good to have a backup. I think they're exactly the same. They look the same. So this will slide over your phone. Oh, and it feels, you've got a nice, uh, look at that. Got like a pad in there, so it doesn't scratch your phone, I guess. Because this side, this clip here is gonna be coming over the screen while this goes at the back. To hold the lens over your over your lens <laughs> uh, so there you go nice and tight as well it's good strength on this plastic so I guess the, the lens will clip into that somehow there you go nice and easy so that clips in and you can also slide this back and forth depending on where your camera is on your phone because some are somewhere in the middle uh, whereas others are more toward the edges so you can adjust that perfectly over your lens and that's it there's no more lenses we've got some instructions we've got a cleaning cloth so we have oh yeah now that we have a little carabiner, let's see, obviously this isn't going to be any good for rock climbing, so don't, and don't go taking this and, oh, it's not very, not very good, let's be honest, it's just a cheap one. It is metal though, so this I'm, uh, it doesn't, doesn't stay in line when you open it, you've got to move it. So this will clip onto the little strap on the back of that, if you wanted to clip it onto your bag, I don't know why you'd want to do that. You're better off just putting this in your bag. So we have a cleaning cloth, nice quality, normal kind of cleaning cloth, nothing much to say about that. We have the instructions. Let's have a little look at this. Nice and small. So... Fixing photo lenses, some including changeable fisheye macro and super macro lenses for incredible photographic results. Simply attach the lens to one of your luxury protective carrying case and microfiber cleaning cloth included. Okay, introductory fisheye, approximately 180 degrees field of view. There's a little picture. So you can put this on your notebook, I didn't think of that. You can put this over your notebook because it'll clip over the screen top the screen where the camera is didn't think about that pc ipad there you go let's unfold this it folds out more we've got macro mainly for shooting very subtle objects such as flowers or insects it can take clear photos of small objects nearly in the details for amazing 12 times magnification super macro for close-up shots together with macro lens can uh realize 24 times magnification <sighs> I don't have this super macro lens. There's only two lenses. I don't know whether I have to put the fisheye with. I don't know if that would work, would it? Specifications: lens type 180 fisheye, 12 times macro, 24 times macro. I don't get what's going on. I've only got two lenses in here. Definitely not a third one. Uh, so I don't know. I'm a bit confused. Right, what's included? Ah. One fisheye, one macro lens, one super macro lens, lens, two lens clips, two lens covers. One hook, 
a Sakarabina, one luxury protective carrying case, one microfiber cleaner cloth, one user manual, compatibility, and it tells you a bunch of phones there's compatible with. I have a Blackberry Priv, uh, it's, it lists a Blackberry Touch bold sorry bold touch but i'm pretty sure it will work with the priv i think it'll work with any smartphone to be honest it should be to reach your camera no matter what smartphone you have so let's take a look at this macro lens because this i think might have a screw offable thing on it okay i have found the third third lens it was screwed to the back of this so this essentially is two separate lenses but i don't know if you can fit this on one of these things without that i wouldn't have thought so all right so i'm being a bit stupid and i figured it out now so this bit is the 24 times now that is on its own you don't clip that to a clip you clip the smallest bit which is this bit which says 12 times so this bit clips on its own for 12 times and then you just screw that bit on the end of this for 24 times got there in the end unfortunately that um diffuser does not come off and fit onto this it does come off but it doesn't fit under this and it actually doesn't even go on very well because i can see there i can't get that bit in i'm pushing at it and it won't pop in so it's a bit of a letdown but anyway so i'm gonna put these on the cam on my phone and see how they perform okay so i've put the 12 times macro lens on my phone can't really see it there but um let's take a look at the instructions so yeah it's coming up nice hard to see this i'll put some pictures on the actual video um so let's get something in focus there take a photo okay so let's look at that photo Oops. okay come out quite well very nice so let's take a look at the other lenses all right so i'm just gonna screw this onto the end of that no it's the wrong one screw this one onto the end of that one to make it 24 times if i can get it in there it's difficult to do. I gotta get myself a tripod. Tripod. All right, it's on. So now I can put it right down on the ground now. Because of the diffusers on there, it lets some light in. Let's get the right in. There you go. So it's even flat on the desk there. It's letting light enough light in that I can see some text. Let's take a shot of that. Um, so that's pretty good. You can move it about and have a good old look. Let's take a look at the desk itself. Oh, look at that. I don't know how well this is going to come out. That uh, That's what this laminate looks like up close. It's blurred a minute. Let's see if I can get it something in focus. There you go. It's not the best light, but it, it, you know, it's good enough. Let's put it on the screen. You can see every pixel there. There's the R from Red reviews. You can see every pixel up close and personal. Ooh, cost.txt. Okay. Mm, yeah. That's pretty cool anyway. And uh, let's try my finger. Ooh, there's my finger. That's pretty good. You can see in your skin if you have a, a cut or a splinter. This will be awesome for looking at your splinter. <laughs> Taking a picture of your splinter, you won't be able to get it out with this because it'll be in the way, but you'll be able to have a look at it. Okay, now we have the fisheye lens attached. This is a whole different kind of thing. So you can get a lot of the room in view compared to without it. Pretty cool, looks good quality. You get a nice sharp image by the look of it. Let's see, if I take a shot there, looking at the paper, can you still focus on something that's close up though? Yes, you can. You've got a good shot there. Let me just take a shot of that. I'll, I'll upload these pictures later. There's your carabina. So, uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's nice and wide. I like that. All right, so pretty good. I think uh, you'll have a lot of fun with this, especially with the close-up uh, lenses. You'll be looking at everything. It might even spark off some OCD in you, so be careful there. Fisheye also pretty good, you know, definitely a good kit for youngsters. They take out, it's nice and easy to carry, put in their pocket, take it out with them, to the skate park or whatever, use the fisheye lens and then get experimental looking at uh, wildlife or whatever with the, the up close and personal macro lens so i'll leave it there um i'd recommend this good little kit for the price i'll see you in the next one bye